we're going to look at using mastering chemistry for solving a stoichiometry problem. We're going to look at part C. It says how many grams of water are formed from the reaction of 34.8 grams of ammonia. The reaction is over on the left. You have a balanced chemical equation with physical states for this. Um, what you need to determine is where you're starting, and you're starting with those 34.8 grams of ammonia. And they're asking you how many grams of water, so you know that the answer for your question is going to be in grams of water. You now need to determine how many steps do I need. And if you look at the template, it goes from grams to moles, and then moles back to grams again. This is your starting substance and this is the substance that you are question about. So I am starting with grams of something and I need to go to grams of the other substance. So notice there are three conversion factors needed here. So I'm going to set up three spaces for these conversions and I know I don't have a lot of room on here to get this all on the computer screen, but hopefully it will be there. So, um, I need to start out with my 34.8 grams of ammonia, and the first thing I need to do is get rid of those grams and change them into moles. I use the molar mass of ammonia, which is 17, um, and in fact it's probably 17.0. Um, but this will allow you to cancel out the grams. Now I'm going to convert between ammonia and water because my equation tells me that for every four moles of ammonia I'm going to produce six moles of water. So the ammonia will go on the bottom and the water will go on top. We'll have a four beside the ammonia and a six beside the water which should match up with the coefficients. This allows you to cancel out the ammonia. And if I stop right here, the units that are there are moles of water. And I want grams of water, so that's not quite good enough. So the moles is not what I want. Um, I now want to change those moles into grams, so I want to get rid of the moles and put it into grams. I want to use water's molar mass, which is 18, and that of course needs to match my water, and this allows me to cancel out the moles. Now the only units that are left are grams and water, which is what I want my answer in. Mathematically, I have 34.8 times 6 times 18 divided by 17 times 4. And so when I put that in the calculator, which I have here at the bottom, I'm going to have 34.8 times 6 times 18 divided by 17 equals divided by 4 equals. And I'm going to get a number 55.27059. This is going to be grams of water. And the um, master in chemistry only wants a number in there. But I'm pretty sure that they want that number to the right number of sig figs. So there are three sig figs in my data. And actually, my molar masses. I could calculate to three sig figs. This is probably 17.0 and this is 18.0. I just didn't put those in. So let's see what happens if I put in just 55 and submit it. So they sort of like it but notice what they say that the value should be. It should be 55.3. And notice what this would round to. 
this would round to 55.3. Um, they also note that if you need to use this number later, they want to tell you that the 55.3 is the number to use. So had you put in 55.3, they supply the grams, and they would have told you it was correct with probably no additional feedback. Um, but when they saw the 55, they knew that you went through the process correctly and that your problem was in significant digits. So um, we did the problem. They simply wanted the number. And if you can get the number rounded to the correct sig figs, they're thrilled. Um, I hope this helped you um, set up a problem and be comfortable with what you expect to see.